Good morning and welcome in for another video with myself Darren and this is a little bit of a cab tour I'm just going to show you right now. Small couple of steps to get in it's not too high we've got our cupboard here we can keep storage we've got one on the other side as well what I'm going to use for cleaning products and as we go up inside so on the inside this is what it looks like really spacious got plenty of room here as well I can stand up no problems whatsoever in here um got a cupboard up here as well it's all currently empty because last driver obviously taking all their stuff so this is going to be filled up with all my gear eventually you've got more storage around it here as well so we've got loads of storage up at the top there's loads for us to go on there got stuff at the top as well there yes we do have a bunk bed that comes down it's strapped up on a seat belt system so that's what it looks like when it's on the top so you can have two man on here and this comes up a little bit for, uh, so you don't roll out. That's what it looks like when the bed is up. Um, I probably won't actually ever bring it down to be honest with you. We've got a good mattress, quite a good thick size as well. Over here, we've got our fridge, nice cold drinks for the day. Got my cleaning gear I've just brought in. So I need to go away, I need to give it a little bit of a dust later on when I'm on break. Got storage here as well. So yeah, it seems quite big and really spacious for us. That's the PDA. So all our jobs come through on there. We've got one of the cameras that watches us. Um, we've got a camera over there for the blind spots. We've got all the mirrors as well. So this is what we can see when we're in our cab. A nice little electric sunroof up there. Our nighttime reading light there. And um, we've got one there as well. And all the controls are just on this bit as well for all your comforts. You don't have to have to get out of bed. Yeah, that's the man truck we're going to be in full time. So this is my little baby from now on. A cool thing about this company, what I really like, is a little bit like Eddie Stobart's where they name their trucks after, well, people and stuff. Or this company named them after Greek gods. So the truck at I'm in is called Nemesis. So if you see a truck driving around with Nemesis on, it could be me out there. So give us a little wave or something. I say as well, what is your favorite truck as well to drive? Either driving or do you one that you just fancy the looks of? Let me know down in the comments as well, guys. For today, I've got um, not a bad day. It actually seems all right. I've got one collection over in Haydock, which is around the corner from us. I've got two deliveries in the Bootle area. Another collection where we're dropping off in Bootle. And then we've got two deliveries around uh, Liverpool area. So it should be all right. I'm, I'm presuming I'll probably be done for about 12, half 12, give or take on that run. So they go give me more collections and stuff a little bit later on. But I'll keep you updated for that day, what we get up to and how our day unfolds, really. If you do enjoy these videos as well, guys, don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So I know you're enjoying the content, really. <laughs> Time is now 11 o'clock already. So this morning it's gone really, really fast so far. I've done one collection at Haydock for 14 pallets. And then I've just come to here in Boots on the docks to get another, I think it's 12 pallets to get on. So we've got a full load of 26 all together. Quick maths. Um, these are going around the corner in Bootle somewhere, or somewhere in Liverpool region anyway. I think so about 10 minutes from where we are at the moment. So it's pretty close for us to get to and from. Um, on the way here as well at the docks, there's a little bit of an industry estate around there. I've done one delivery there as well. Probably gonna make this delivery, and then I'll stick it on a little bit of a break. So, um, I have my 45 minutes just to clear the driving time as well as the working time directives. Um, also, as well, I need to show you. So if you're ever unsure if somebody asks you like to lower the trailer or raise the trailer, because at first I was like, what, how do you mean? I can't lower or raise the, the pack legs. Well, here's how you do it. Nobody told me how to do it, so I think, no, I'll share the information with you guys. So on the back of the trailer, you have a little bit of a lever. If you pull it out, it will set itself at a good standard rate. But if you push it in, if you push it to the right, it'll raise, very slowly, raise it up. And then if you go left, 
it'll take the air out and it'll drop it down. Even though all that bird noise in the background is artificial and it's not a real bird making them noise, if you close your eyes, you probably feel like you're either at the seaside or in like a tropical rainforest or something. So thanks Jim for actually letting me know it's not a real parrot going around making a noise or a hawk, it's an artificial one. So the next job is five miles away, about a 20 minute drive with traffic. That's very loud them trailers, aren't they? And yeah, it's over towards exactly around that way. So, just let the air out on my seat by mistake. <laughs> I was wondering what was happening then. And let's put the air back in my seat so I can rise back up. Shit myself. <laughs> Did not expect that whatsoever. Here we go, back up again. Let's put my foot up on the side, not on the actual seat what makes the air go up and down um anyways <laughs> the time is now 20 past 12 just took it on for a 15 minute break our next job is over towards bootle docks we've got seven pallets to collect from there and then after that we're coming back down towards exactly for the kirby estate and we've got some from a protein place so we've got a few pallets from there and i think i'm gonna have about 15 spaces left after them two collections so who knows where we're going to end up. Bonus points for anybody that knows what that used to be. What's on that pallet? Some type of car. Whilst I'm just getting loaded, I'm just going to take this opportunity to give us a nice little brush. Give it a good brush down, give it a polish, get it all looking very nice and tidy for us. Because I don't like these little bits, I really don't. cleaning montage haven't you in slow motion <laughs> but with that said how much nicer does it look it just feels much better if you're working in a truck and you're in there for a long period of time like over 10 hours or even living in here for a few days you need it nice and clean don't you it's all my jobs done for today so we're going to make my way back towards the depot i'll probably be sent back out for something else don't know what yet the time is currently quarter past three and yeah so back to the yard for about four o'clock see how long it'll take to get unloaded uh, probably about a half hour for that one so maybe near five o'clock fingers crossed that'll be me done for the day so it's just hit five o'clock and we're on to a winner because we are on the way home very shortly just got to drop this trailer and then bugger off out of here so overall, really good day. Been a good week so far. Torch wood all carries on being this good. So thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself and have a great night. And I'll see you again tomorrow. It'll be uploaded again Monday to Friday. I'm trying my best to do it as well Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. So take care of yourself. Bye for now.